What's up YouTube, it's Milma here with another Xcode tutorial. In this Xcode tutorial I will be teaching you how to use a UI slider and the basics of a UI slider and how to access its value and use it for a purpose. Um, so without further ado we shall make a new project, so file new project. Oh yeah, and by the way this tutorial was suggested by Flame, Flame Buh, Ember. Um, so his link and channel should appear there and uh, sorry I'm a bit late in doing this but I have had a bit of exams um, so yeah sorry for being a bit late but here it is so new view based application I'm gonna call it UI slider save it to my desktop um, yep and here we go here's the new UI slider project just make it bigger and uh, what we're going to need in this um, project is one, a UI slider, and two labels. One label is going to change text when the UI slider gets over a certain value. And then the other label is to tell us what value the UI slider is on. So I'm going to go quickly into the viewcontroller.nib here. I'm going to set up my interface. You will still see me do it, but uh, it will be sped up. So... Um, I'll set it up and I'll see you in a bit. Alright guys, I'm back, and as you can see, I've uh, given three outlets here, one's for the label, one's for the counter, and one is for the UI slider. And you just saw me set all that up, so if you want to copy that interface out, that's fine. The top label was the counter, the second label, the bottom one, was the uh, actual label that's going to display our text that changes colour. And then the UI slider is obviously the slider. I also had an action that came off the UI slider under the changed, I mean value changed action uh, and I call that change label. Um, so if we go over here to the .m, this is where we're going to do our code. So first we want to access our actual value of the counter, um, I mean of the UI slider. So we're going to use the counter text to do that. So we're going to go get our counter label and we're going to set its text to space equals space an ns string that holds the actual value of the slider. So if we just do, do two open brackets here, and uh, I'll type this out, and I'll be back in a minute. All right, guys, I'm back, and as you can see, I've got counter dot text space equals space and it's a string alloc, and then it's going to be in it with format at sign open quotes percent dot one f, and then close quotes space comma slider dot value. Now, if you followed my other tutorials, you will know that you can go inside these things when you want to put something inside a text you can go percent at for uh, for text or object values uh, you can go percent i for integers and uh, in this case we're doing percent f now because the slider value which is an integer is actually a float value we need to use percent f but float values have a lot of decimal places so i've put dot one f and that shortens it down to just one decimal place, which makes it easier for us to see what we're doing and also makes it easier for our later things. And as you noticed here, the slider has a thing where you can actually access its value. So if you just go slider.value, you, you actually get its value. And uh, I've built it here, so if I uh, just zoom out. So as you can see, as we move this, our label changes. Uh, so as you can see, the lowest value is 0.0, .0 and the highest value is 1. So it obviously goes from 0 to 1. And in between is obviously the normal, so if we go in the middle, it's 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, and like that, yeah? So hopefully you understand that. That's how you access the value of a slider, and it's a float value. So uh, I will now do the if statement to actually change our uh, text and everything, and uh, I'll be back in a minute. All right, guys, I'm back, and as you can see, I've added a, an if statement here, and uh, I've basically just used the slider's value and I've said if the slider value is greater than or equal to 0 0.5, then the label.text equals danger. 
So you could use this for some sort of game app if they're selecting a setting and then you go, danger, that's too high, you might die, or something like that, you can use it for that. And I've also set the text colour to red, so it kind of uh, implements the danger thing. It's bright red, it's like, ah, oh, danger. Um, and then otherwise, I want it to stay hidden. So I've gone label.text equals no text, so basically I didn't type anything in between the at quotes. And I've gone label.text colour, space equals space, UI colour, clear colour. And that's kind of self-explanatory, it's just a clear colour. Um, so I have built it again to save time. So if you see here, here's our label in the middle. And as I move it, if it's go, if you go down, you can see it's now 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4. It's now below 0 0.5. And then I move it up 0 0.5. You can see the labels appeared. It's a bit small, but it still says danger and it's red. And I can go all the way up to one. And then if I go below, it disappears and go up danger. Whoop, blah, 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 blah. Um, so, yep, that's a quick tutorial on UI sliders and how to access their values and use them for a purpose. Um, so again, this tutorial was suggested by Flame Ember, uh, and his channel will appear there. Um, so thanks for watching, guys. Any suggestions for tutorials, post them in the comments. Um, sorry if this was too fast. I've, again, ask me any questions in the comments or send me uh, a message if you've got any questions regarding this tutorial or any other tutorials. So yeah, thanks for watching. And uh, don't forget, I'm on Twitter, so you can follow me on Twitter. And don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. See you in my next tutorial.